Hi everyone. Today I want to introduce to you my lovely lemon myrtle plants. So as most of you know, lemon myrtle is actually a, a Queensland um, native sort of like myrtle family. Um, so it have a hev heavy sort of like uh, citrusy sort of like uh, scents and it's, it smells like lemongrass. Okay, like when you smell it. It's like a light lemony sort of like citrus sort of like smell and then you cross the leaf It's have like a strong lemongrass sort of like smell So my first exposure to lemon myrtle is actually when I was in Byron Bay So when I work and travel back a few years back So um, I came across uh, Byron Bay and um, I wasn't really interested in essential oil or anything like that So I went to this uh, strain tour up there and then they drove us past a lemon myrtle plant and tea tree oil plants uh, station over there and I was curious so I bought a bottle of lemon uh, myrtle and then seeing then I fell in love with the scent, fell in love with the tree and I said I had to buy some and grow some and this is my third attempt to grow it because last time I tried to grow them in a pot it didn't actually survive somehow it just all the leaf it just dried up and died and this time is so two of them die in the pot so this is the third one I could not really risk grow them in a pot so what I did was that um, we grow them outside and it's been outside on the ground for like four or five months now and it's doing amazingly well for a subtropical and a tropical sort of like plant so it can grow up from three for unfavorable temperature like in Perth, uh, three meter high, but like in a tropical rainforest, it can grow up to um, eight meters high. So I cannot wait for my one to grow up to eight meters high. So what do I do with lemon myrtle? So with the leaf, you can actually use them as like a herbal tea, uh, use them in food. <laughs> But for me, I use the essential oil to make them in soap. So the smell is like amazing. So the smell is like I said, it's have a similar like essential oil like lemongrass. So lemongrass have the um, citral uh, volatile essential oil. So it does not have as much as um, the lemon myrtle. So lemon myrtle probably have 3% more than the actual um, citral sort of like essential oil compared to lemongrass um, so these sort of like citral sort of like essential oil uh, volatile oil what it does is it have a strong antimicrobe sort of like uh, uh, activities uh, not quite sure if they have their anti virals or uh, antifungal activity but there are research out there only focus on microbes so antimicrobial sort of like property so if you're interested more about these sort of like plan um, you can always do a research on it and if you can get access to it and know how to grow that grow them I mean really grow them like they really really useful so uh, if you don't have lemongrass you can actually grow these and if you have access to this you don't need to um, uh, grow lemongrass <laughs> do you know what I mean they are pretty much like a different species of plant but they have very similar property I hope that makes sense yeah so when I use the lemongrass making soap I noticed that it makes the skin clear really quickly um, so uh, I did use the lemon myrtle soap commercial lemon soap and I just realized that the soap they make is not uh, they put the scents in it but they're not really natural and I know that my skin is really dry and not very very uh, nice maybe because they have a lot of preserved like chemical in there so they're not natural soap so uh, my mission is to make natural soap of lemon myrtle yeah oh it smells like heaven I could smell this all day mm -hmm. and I think it will be taste amazing in like you know lemon myrtle chili in like you know tofu sort of like stir fry it smells amazing i think i might do that hey i pick a few leaves and i go home and i try it out and i'll let you know so yeah so please if you get access to it grow it it's like one of the most valuable plants 
is simply uh, amazing your smell is clear your nasal so when you use them in the diffuser of some kind it's actually clear your nasal cavity and it's if you have a bacterial infection or a sinus or something like that but not viral these will be an amazing uh, sort of like plan used in that medicinal sense um, it, it steam inhalation is really best, best for this time of the year corn flute like symptom clear the nasal this is one of the best ones it's very calming very soothing and why not it's, it's actually kind of easy to to grow if you're in a tropical and um, a subtropical sort of like uh, region in Australia but here uh, in Perth we grow them in the shade house and it's actually doing really well and we're gonna keep it that way when I have a chance I will probably do some more cutting and then probably grow a few more I probably want to grow at least 20 or 50 of this plant up in this land here once when I got this plant established uh, this is a pilot study plant like I said so when it's ready to be um, stabilized and then we gain an experience how to grow them up here in Jinjin we will grow some more yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I really hope and I really want you to grow it like simply because why not it's so beneficial <laughs> for your body mind soul <laughs> and especially for your health um, yeah I'm gonna pick a few leaves and then I'm gonna go home and make a, a chili lemon myrtle so like stir fry tofu I'm gonna have them with rice and I'll see how I go with that and I'll let you know <laughs> have a lovely day I'll see you next time